Hi all, this is an easy question. I'll classify the question as a sub 600 level problem solving question in number properties. We're also looking at averages. So averages and statistics concepts are also thrown into this question. Let's read the question and then spend half a minute in understanding how we are going to solve it. And I want you to use that method effectively for any question of this kind. The average of five consecutive integers starting with m as the first integer is n. Starting with m, the average of five consecutive integers happens to be n. What is the average of nine consecutive integers that start with m plus 2? Now look at it. This entire question, all the terms that we are talking about, the five consecutive integers initially, the nine later on, are all related to this particular value m. So one, you can work with m, m plus 1, m plus 2, so on and so forth, which is not a bad thing to do. If everything is related to one particular value, to an anchor value, assign a number for it and work from it. It becomes so much easier. You will not make a mistake because you can visualize things as the numbers happen and you will be able to get to the answer quickly. So what are we going to do? We are starting this first sequence of five consecutive integers with m as the first number. So I am going to take m to be equal to 1. So five consecutive integers starting with 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Obviously these five numbers are in an arithmetic progression. If numbers are in an arithmetic progression and we have an odd number of terms in that sequence, then the middle term is the average of it. You can also compute the average by adding these numbers. Whichever way we go about it, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 by 5 is equal to 3. So the average is equal to 3. The average for the first sequence is equal to 3, which the question says the average of 5 consecutive integers starting with m is n is what they are saying. So n is equal to 3 or 3 is equal to n. What's the second sequence? The second sequence has got nine numbers. Where does it start from? It starts with m plus 2. So sequence 2 we'll call it. This is going to start with m plus 2. What is m for us? m is equal to 1. So m plus 2 is going to be equal to a 3. The second sequence starts with 3. We're going to write nine consecutive numbers. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One more to go. Right. This is the second sequence. How many numbers are there in the sequence? There are 9 numbers in the sequence. As I had mentioned earlier, you can add all of these numbers, divide it by 9 and find the answer. Or because it is in an arithmetic progression with a common difference of 1, the middle term is going to be the average. We have 9 terms, the middle term is the fifth term, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the average, 7 is the average, 7 is the average for the sequence. But everything is asked in terms of m and n m is equal to 1, m plus 2 is equal to 3. If n is a 3, what is going to be 7? n is equal to 3, therefore 7 is equal to 4 more than that, that is going to be equal to n plus 4. So the average of the second sequence is equal to n plus 4. What is the correct answer? Answer choice E is the correct answer to this question.